Hi, and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I'm your host, Monica Weitzel. Due to COVID-19, July 15th is the new tax day for filing income tax returns. So today we'll be highlighting a program that provides tax preparation assistance for low to moderate income families. Cash Oregon volunteers are now providing free tax assistance over the phone and via computer. The physical volunteer sites may be closed, but volunteers are still here to help you file your taxes and get you access to tax refunds. With me today is Riley Eldridge, Program Manager for Metropolitan Family Service Cash Oregon, and Corey Streisinger, IRS Tax Certified Volunteer. Thanks for coming, both of you. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. It's, uh, it's great to hear about this new program that you have, because I know people do get stressed out about tax season, and a lot of people had some relief when they found out that they could wait a little longer to uh, do their taxes. Why exactly did you come up with this program or why, why did uh, Metropolitan Family Service Institute this program? Yeah, so um, if I could take a step back, we really see tax preparation as a really important uh, uh, financial step for, for a lot of uh, folks, especially for low to middle income households. Um, there's a lot of tax credits that are involved in them, primarily being the earned income tax credit and child tax credit <clears throat> that a lot of folks aren't getting access to because they're not filing taxes. And we believe that's largely due to um, uh, big challenges around things like geography, language, and trust. Uh, so having a reliable uh, uh, source of information and resources to actually getting your taxes done uh, is, is a really big part of that. So we think volunteer tax preparation specific is, is a important step for, for households in securing their uh, financial futures. Um, that being said, when the pandemic happened, uh, that this incredibly important resource that many, many, many folks depend on suddenly vanished. So we found ourselves in a situation of knowing we have this huge need in the community. I mean, it's estimated that we have seven times the demand that we're actually able to do uh, that is not being met. Uh, and the deadline is quickly approaching. And we have this, this um, pool of expert volunteers that know how to help folks that want to help folks that are also stuck at at home so we had to think how can we bring these two sources together and so that really became this this idea of the volunteer hotline where essentially folks can call in on their own and get help from an actual irs certified volunteer and getting their taxes done and getting access to those critical resources uh like the earned income tax credit and child tax credit that's great because yeah, I understand there's money left on the table every year. Is that right? That people are not claiming things that they could actually be getting uh, refunds for. That's right. It's estimated in Oregon that we leave 100 to $130 million of earned income tax credit on the table every single year. Uh, and that's just due to people not, not filing their taxes. It's not like they went and did their taxes and they went, oops, I forgot to claim this, this tax credit. It's more so uh, they didn't have access to, to filing um, uh, for X, Y, or Z reasons. So again, uh, volunteer tax preparation we see as a really important tool in getting folks across the line and getting access to those, those resources. You know, you have to find the silver lining in this COVID-19 situation. And, and perhaps, you know, this is one of them that people are getting that sort of a virtual uh, tax uh, accountant to help them. So that's a, that's a great program. So this is a free service. Is that right? Yeah, for anybody making below 65000 and below. Uh, and that's, that's a household. So okay. whatever household makes 65000 and below uh, would qualify for this for free. So getting help and getting their taxes done would be free. Okay, Corey, you are a tax uh, consultant. Uh, uh, are you a, an accountant? Is that what you do by trade? No, uh, I'm retired. I was a lawyer before I retired and uh, worked for some government agencies. But I am a certified tax volunteer. And all of the volunteers in the program go through some pretty extensive training uh, and pass some tests that the IRS puts together, and many of us have been doing this volunteer work actually for a number of years. We are a very varied group. There are some people who have accounting backgrounds, legal backgrounds, um, tax preparation backgrounds. Some people have just been doing their own and family members' taxes for a long time, and uh, we all actually like doing taxes, which is a little peculiar, <laughs> but it's also a great way to help. 
I think it's great. There are people out there that like doing it <laughs> or are willing to volunteer because it's a huge help for people. Do you know if, if this service is available in other than just English? Yes, it is. Uh, and maybe Riley, you can talk about how we handle other languages. Yeah, so we have actually a designated line for Spanish. Uh, so when folks call in to, they, they can immediately get routed to um, uh, a, either a Spanish speaking volunteer or an interpreter uh, that we always have available. Um, and we also, with the connection with ERCO, are uh, uh, using their, their phone um, bank to be able to use any language. So um, if somebody were to call in and had another language, any, literally any language, we, we could connect them with an interpreter on the spot. Uh, to serve any language. So it's pretty cool. That's great. Yeah, Urco is a great, uh, great community resource. Yeah. So, so Corey, back to you. Tell me how you got involved with this and what it is you do. What can people expect when, when they call you? Well, I've been part of the group doing in-person tax volunteering, as I said, for a number of years. And of course, when we can do it in person, it's pretty easy. Everybody just brings in their documents and hands them to us and we talk to them and, and do the taxes for them. It's a little tougher now that we can't do it in person. So we operate on the phone and we use a um, screen sharing application. So the person who we're helping actually needs to have computer access and internet access. They download or they, they use, they don't need to download, they use free IRS approved tax software, which we make available to them on our website. And they use that on their computer, but because they are sharing their screen with us, we walk them through it step by step. We can see what they see and tell them, okay, now you need to fill in this box or put this information here or click this, this button down there and really make it fairly painless. Wow. That, that sounds great. So what is the reaction from most people when, they, when you work with them like that? Well, they're usually very glad to have a resource to get their taxes done. Um, some people are very intimidated by doing taxes, but usually they find once they get into it, it is fairly smooth and straightforward. We have the ability to call in uh, help, additional volunteers to help if we run into a really gnarly problem. But so far, uh, for most people, again, that have that computer access, we're able to help them. Right. If somebody doesn't have computer access, are there places, I don't know, maybe you can tell me this, um, Riley, are there places you can refer them to to go to get computer access or something like this? It's currently a big challenge. Um, yeah. You know, all the resources that we formerly could depend on are, are not available. Right. Uh, we, I mean, typically we would be able to go to things like a library or something like that, but right. in this current circumstance, there, there really isn't. So what's been interesting though, is that, uh, it's been a very resourceful time. Um, lots of folks have, we've been talking to them. They're like, yeah, I don't have a computer. Um, but lots of folks have their children that have computers at their, uh, their schools that they then all of a sudden have access to now that folks are doing this online learning. Uh, situation. So that's that's proved to be an opportunity. And also there's been an interesting amount of folks that are like, well, my brother does. Can we get him on the phone too and call in? So people have been really resourceful, like trying to figure out ways, how can we make this work? And we're willing to try, you know, any way to, to help folks uh, bottom the line. Um, but yeah, they do need a computer. Great, great. And how, how long is this program going to run? Does it just end on July 15th then? Yeah, we're shooting for, for 7.15. Um, uh, well, no, now that I say that, uh, we will be doing uh, this uh, past all the way to October 15th um, um, to, to help folks. There's, there's a, we do traditionally what we call summer camp, uh, where we help folks all the way to the... Um, the extension deadline? The extension deadline, thank you, Corey. <laughs> Uh, uh, which is goes all the way to October 15th. Um, so we will be doing, uh, I anticipate, uh, this program all the way to October 15th. Probably not as many hours, though. We're, we're right. still figuring that out exactly how that's going to look. So if people are, who would normally perhaps file an extension that would take them maybe to August, I think is when it usually is, then um, they could file an extension with, you, you could help them file that, or Corey could help them file that. And then you can work with them to get that taken care of. Is that? Yeah, you know, uh, 
it, typically the folks that we work with are not the ones that have actually even filed an extension. It might be folks that are just behind uh, that mm -hmm. haven't filed for, for two, three years, or maybe they got a letter from the IRS or Oregon Department of Revenue and they don't know what to do with it. They're scared of it. They're intimidated by it. Uh, so we can be a resource for them to say, oh, this is what this is saying. Uh, this is how we can work with that. Or they identified a mistake was made when they originally filed the return mm -hmm. and they need to do an amendment for whatever reason. Uh, we can be a big uh, resource for that. Yeah, there is uh, no penalty for filing late if you're getting a refund. So someone who is pretty sure that they're getting a refund, they don't actually need to file for an extension because there are no negative consequences if they do file late. It's just that for most people, the refund is important. And so getting that money into their hands as soon as possible is our concern. Right, right. Why leave it with the government when you could be using it yourself? Exactly. Sure, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, and if you don't know, if you are kind of on the fence as to whether or not you're getting a refund, it's probably better to file, right? Absolutely. So is there anything else that you can tell us about this program or anything that we should know? Yeah. Um, the other thing that I do want to highlight before jumping in the times and the days uh, is there's been a lot of questions that we've been getting on uh, economic impact payments. So the stimulus payments Ooh. that came out with uh, the coronavirus, um, it's directly tied to, to um, tax returns and people are very confused and have lots of questions. They had to implement it really quickly. So I'd say if you have questions on where you are with that $1,200 uh, stimulus or not, <laughs> which is the case for a lot of folks that are confused, um, call into the hotline. Um, folks will help you walk through that. So uh, beyond even just having like, I need to get the actual tax return done, we can help folks with questions on it. Um, so yeah, as far as days uh, and hours, right now we're doing Monday through Wednesday, nine to four. We are talking about expanding those out. Um, so stay tuned to get the most recent uh, information. Check out Cash Oregon's website because uh, we may be expanding those hours. Okay. Has there been a good response this year? To yeah, this has been a brand new program and we, we just opened it um, uh, last month. We've had over 260 people call in at this point in time uh, and we have capacity to do a lot, lot more. Wow. Uh, so we would love if more folks uh, found out about this resource and were able to call in and, and, and get some help. We've, we've got volunteers that are willing and able to help out. So, Standing um, ready to take your calls, huh? Please, yes. Um, yeah. Okay, well that's good. We will try to get the word out to people and let them know that this is available um, because this is a really good resource. And so I think there's an awful lot of people that will be thrilled to find out that they've got, you know, somebody who is IRS tax certified like Corey to, to take their call and help them through it. Is there anything else that we should know about, about the program or anything, Corey, you wanna add? Yes, people can also just call us if they have questions. Some people um, do feel comfortable doing their own return or at least doing most of it. And uh, if you are doing your own return and you get stuck, feel free to call us with questions. Uh, we don't have to do the full process. We can just help out with whatever you're dealing with at the time. Okay, and one last question. Is there uh, something that people have to provide to show that they meet that requirement of the, of the income level? Um, they're, they're not going to have to provide any, uh, uh, information for that. That 65,000 is really dictated by the free file software we'll be using. Mm -hmm. So if you're to go over that 65,000, uh, you're going to get charged by the, the software mm -hmm. companies. So, um, but really our goal is to be helping those folks making below 65,000, uh, right. uh, get access to these, these resources. Um, Things that folks need to bring uh, before calling in is, yes, having that computer, making sure that you've got all of your social security or ITIN cards for everybody in the household. Uh, you need to get your 1099s, your W-2s, all of your common deductions that, that folks um, have out there, medical expenses, home expenses. Uh, um, a lot of folks think with the new uh, federal expansion of deductions, I'm getting real deep into tax talk right now, uh, that that potentially they don't have to um, itemize all of their charitable contributions or medical expenses and things like that. Uh, but Oregon has a much lower deduction rate. So we still, 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 please, 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 everybody bring in your medical expenses, your home mortgage expenses, uh, all of those, because it might not have an impact on the federal level, but it might help you on the state level. And we want to make sure we get you as 
much of a tax return as possible. Um, That's right. Yeah. That's right. Good deal. Okay. Thank you both so much for coming on today. And uh, I, if people are seeing this, I want them to go ahead and spread the word to all their friends and neighbors, because it sounds like you've got the ability to help a lot of people. And that's a great thing. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for having us. Thanks, Corey. Yes. And thanks for volunteering, Corey. That's great. And all of you watching today, I hope you've learned something. Share it with people who need to know. And um, from all of us at Metro East, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, get your taxes done. Hotline is made possible with generous support by Gresham Ford, the dealer with a heart. The Contribute to the Community program provides the opportunity for the Gresham Ford team to make a positive impact, serving their customers and helping people across the community. The Outlook, serving the residents of East Multnomah County for more than 100 years. The region's number one source for information, the Outlook provides readers with intensely local coverage of the issues and people that impact our lives and community. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission, advocating on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels. A very special thanks to all our sponsors who help make our programming possible.